quarantine and is the best time to learn the scriptures while we stay at home. So we both have memorized two psalms to recite to you and we encourage all you friends to do the same. Stick around and God bless! Psalm, Psalm 91, and it talks about God's protection over his people. Hmm, what about you, Rayma? What have you got? I have memorized Psalm 27, another beautiful psalm that talks about God, who is the light, and an answer to those who seek him. All right, let's get started. Psalms 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I will trust. Surely He will keep you safe from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. You will not fear the terror of night nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the most higher dwelling, even the Lord, who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you, and to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and cobra, you will trample the great lion and serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord. I will deliver him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will deliver him, I will honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. Amen. Psalms 27, a psalm of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my stronghold of my life. And of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advanced against me to devour me, it is my enemies who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek His face in His temple. For in the day of trouble He will keep me safe in His dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. My head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. I will, at his sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy and sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I cry, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servants away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject or forsake me, God my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desires of my foes. O false witness, rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. 
I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart. And wait for the Lord. Amen.